and welcome back to my channel my name is Pamela Makobo if you are new here and thank you so much for watching my video today my first video back on YouTube in a hot minute what feels like forever I am so excited to be back <laughs> I'm so happy and so excited to be back and I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys all about why I left and why I came back to YouTube but um, thank you so much for watching today's vlog for my returning angels welcome and I am so happy to be back here with you guys I'm so happy to be back here on YouTube creating content for you guys putting out content for you guys and um, so yeah yesterday on my Instagram I've been planning on coming back to YouTube for a while and yesterday on my Instagram I put out a little poll to see what would my subscribers want to see as my first video back whether they want to see like a sit down video where I do a life update or um, an updated get to know me tag or would they like to see a vlog and then a little bit of an update like a life update in the vlog so you guys pick the life update within a vlog so I'll do that at the end of the vlog I will sit down and let you guys know what's been happening with me and everything that went down this year I have a lot to say so you guys will see that at the end of the vlog however now that we are at the beginning of the vlog I had a little bit of errands to run today so on my to-do list um as you guys can see by the way I'm back home I'm back home, I'm not at school anymore, I'm not at Rez anymore, I'm not in Joburg anymore. So I'm back home in the Northwest and I am so happy to be home, okay? Compared to Rez, home is a palace, okay? I always say this, home is a palace compared to Rez. I came back home on the 30th of November. Today is Sunday, the 4th of December and I'm just like settling in at home and everything. So this morning... This morning, that's my mom. This morning, my mom um, asked me to go get some little veggies and fruits for her. So me and my brother went and did a little fruit and veggie run and um, some ingredients because she wants to make some ginger beer. Do we call it khemer? I think khemer is the Afrikaans word, but we also call it khemer and tzana. And you know khemer and you drink it with your cookies and whatever that you bake throughout the entirety of December so my mom's gonna teach me how to make khemer today um I just want to go to the kitchen quickly and do a little grocery haul for you guys it's not really groceries it's just fresh produce so let's call it a fresh produce haul but I want to start off with the stuff that I got from like other stores so I first got my um facial cleanser from Epi Wash right I buy this from this came I ran out so I just got this and then I got a face cloth I needed a new face cloth but I got two because I change face cloths very very often nowadays I think I use a face cloth for like a month or two like maybe probably six six weeks ish and then I throw it out so I got two so that when I stop um, using one then I won't have to go to the shop to get another I can just grab it in my drawer so yeah let's go to the kitchen and do a little bit of a grocery haul i'm gonna show you guys all the fruits and all the veggies that i got for my mom and for the house i guess and yeah let's go to the kitchen okay so in the fruit um haul start off with some watermelon i personally bought this watermelon actually i personally bought all the fruits because they are all the fruits that i prefer to eat Nothing says summer and nothing says being home like some watermelon. So I got some watermelon, a box of mangoes. Okay, so then I got some lemons. These lemons are for my tea um, as well as anything else I'm going to need them for like cooking and stuff. And then I got a tub of grapes. I got two pineapples. Two pineapples I'm gonna actually cut them up and store them in containers already because if you store them in the fridge like this or you put them in your cupboard or your uh, veggie drawer like this um, they tend to go bad very quickly and they also attract a lot of fruit flies when they're in the fridge when you didn't like cut them and I got a tub of nectarines um, we stopped by food lovers 
food lovers market can you guys see there these all these fruits are from food lovers market because my brother convinced me that they were having some sort of a combo for fruits and then i got three whole grapefruit these grapefruit were on sale for uh 25 rand for all three of them so i'm gonna tell you guys a little funny story about my relationship with grapefruit so as you guys know from my previous videos if you're new here if you don't know i am on oral contraceptives right and i've been since i was like 15 right so when i was like 17 there was a lady I was, I was having a conversation with her and you know girl stuff we were just talking about being on contraceptives and everything and she said you know you can't eat grapefruit because they totally totally um mess up with your birth control and they make your birth control like not work that's what she said to me tell me why last night i googled it after seven six okay five years of not eating grapefruit since i was 17 years old i haven't had a grapefruit since i was 17 or grapefruit juice nothing like that tell me why i googled it last night and it was a myth so i got myself some grapefruit these will be great for breakfast um i'm rebuilding my relationship with grapefruit now okay and then the veggies uh we got some spinach we stopped by checkers to get the veggies got some spinach oh there's more fruit there's more fruit i forgot to show you guys there's more fruit so we got a tub of strawberries um some blueberries as well all these fruit like i said they're all from the food lovers market i got some avocado even though i am highly allergic to avocado i'll see what i do because i I'm, i was craving it so bad when i saw it i was just like oh. i just want to have a little bit you know got some lychees um please they don't go back quickly and we got another little tub of blueberries so all these are the ingredients for the ginger beer <laughs> i'm so happy because i'm going to be learning how to make it uh there's also some cordial there that she uses so yeah but i'll show you guys the ingredients again so it's two boxes of ginger let me show you guys all over the place now two boxes of ground ginger right one box of cream of tartaric what cream of tartar cream of tartar sorry my mistake and then two sachets of tartaric acid so so those are all the ingredients for the ginger beer and those are all the fruits and veggies that we got i'm gonna pack these in the fridge now and cut what needs to be cut up and put up in containers and everything and yeah just waking up so that's why my eyes look puffy and all of that my voice still a little bit raspy my face is red for some reason but i thought i haven't really talked in the vlog yesterday i just talked to you guys when i did the intro and when i was doing the little um fresh produce haul 
so i thought so i thought let me sit down and chat to you guys a little today um i am going to be making breakfast soon so yesterday i remember mentioning to you guys that i am rekindling my relationship with grapefruit right so i bought some grapefruit and i want to see how i can incorporate it into my diet particularly at breakfast so like i was saying yesterday when i started vlogging i thought i was gonna be so anxious in front of the camera i thought i was gonna be so shy because i haven't been filming or you know i haven't been in front of the camera recording myself for months so i thought oh my gosh i'm gonna be a nervous wreck well i not excited i was over the moon about being back on camera and whatever and i realized that i was doing everything so fast paced because i was so excited so i just thought today let me just calm down and sit in front of the camera and just you know talk and everything so um i wanted to film the life update a little later in the vlog but since we're here i thought might as well let you guys know what's been happening what happened and why i decided to leave youtube and all of that so i don't even know where to start when i came back from home no when i went back to joburg coming from home last year was it this year it was this year sorry this year around like your january february i actually went back to raise in march right i was already feeling very very burnt out overwhelmed tired exhausted by school it was like you know how people say oh yeah at the end of the year at the end of the work year or at the end of an academic year you feel you're in fatigue what i had was beginning of the year burnout okay and a lot of my classmates and you know my friends that we go to the same school or we're in the same academic program we shared a sentiment where we felt like the previous academic year should have been our final year but here we are finding ourselves in yet another academic year so we felt very burnt out myself in particular I felt very burnt out and then I get to res and my res room that I was staying in last year had been switched without my knowledge the managers at the res did not inform me that they were going to be changing my res room so they changed it without my knowledge i paid a booking fee to book the same res room that i was staying in in the previous year i get to raise this year it's a completely different room completely different side of the building something that i did not even consent to right but then I was just like, you know what, it's it's just a year. Because they didn't just change my raised room, they renovated my old raised room into something else. So I couldn't stay there. So I was just like, you know what, it's just a year, right? But I did not like the room that I was in, to be quite honest. I hated it. And just like, you know, trying to film when I was in there was really taking a toll on, you know, how I felt about my content because I didn't like the space that I was filming in and then um, my burnout that I was feeding towards school started like sipping into different aspects of my life I was withdrawn socially I wasn't doing the things that I was normally doing you know like going out with friends or going out on solo dates or whatever it was just so difficult for me to do those things even getting up in the morning sometimes was so difficult so so difficult because I just felt like I was over it all I was over everything I was over school I was over race I was just over it okay so then um I was also doing this one one or two modules that everyone that did that same module before me was telling me hey watch out okay this module is very difficult and if you don't give it your all 
you might fail and repeat the module so then I started like you know weighing my priorities as to what can I put a hundred percent of my energy in it's either I divide my energy or um, my efforts between school YouTube or I give a hundred percent to school or a hundred percent to YouTube and that particular module that I'm talking about it was my major this year right so um when you're doing a bachelor of education there are going to be modules that you do i feel like my voice sounds so raspy right now but anyway <laughs> um they're going to be modules that you do where they kind of teach you how to teach a particular subject so i am a history and english major and this year english was my major so i um was doing english as a major this year and when i was going to go to my practicals i was going to have to teach english in my practicals and i was going to be assessed by my university tutor on how i teach english how well i teach english so that module that i have it's called pedagogy module or method module right so it was a um, module on how to teach english and it's very difficult it's difficult because the standard is kind of like for well this is my own personal opinion i don't know how to put it homogeneous right it does not consider that we as the teachers that are going to be teaching english are not english mother tongue speakers majority of us like 80 percent of us are not english mother tongue speakers right and not only are we not english mother tongue speakers we are going to be teaching this same language to learners who are also not english mother tongue speakers so that's just what i found to be very difficult in the beginning of the year but i had to change my mindset and i was like you know what it's difficult it's challenging but it's not impossible to do people have done it before and you're going to do it this year so um, I felt like I had to just focus my entire energy on my coursework. Otherwise, I was not going to make it. And um, that's when my burnout was at its peak. When I had to be doing stuff for YouTube, like hair reviews. And you know, hair reviews have deadlines. They'll let you know that, hey, we want this video by this date or at the end of the week. Same time, I have assignments to do. I have... Um, you know academic readings to read up on and I'm doing this very difficult module or you know just course in general is just very difficult and it's very demanding and this year unlike last year we were slowly um, going back to campus so I had to be like attending classes on campus I had to be waking up in the morning going to campus attending a lecture you know sitting there taking notes for said couple of hours or said um hour or 45 minutes or whatever and then get back to raise work on whatever i learned in the lecture you know go through it again or tutorials i had tutorials on campus so i just felt so burnt out i was just like i can't do this i cannot do both of these things very well right so um sometimes I feel like with burnout because it wasn't my first time experiencing burnout last year around June exams I had also experienced burnout and one thing about burnout it tends to make me feel like you know what just quit just quit you'll see this at a later stage so I was feeling like I wanted to quit school I was feeling like I just wanted to quit YouTube you know even though that was not how i was genuinely feeling i just felt like it's either i quit school or i quit youtube and if i try to do them both one of the two is going to suffer you know my the kind of um result i produce in one of the two is going to suffer and i did not want it to be school because I can't afford to to repeat a module when you repeat a module you repeat a whole year 
at uni you know you don't just repeat the module for a couple of weeks no you repeat it for the entire year so that would be an extra year added to my degree so then i decided you know what let me quit youtube let me quit youtube because i'm feeling very burnt out and i don't want to have this burnout lead to depression i don't want it to affect my um, academics i do not want it to you know affect my career because not only am i um working towards my career working towards my degree and i'm in my final year of study <coughs> where's my water and i'm in my final year of study you know i have family back at home who are also cheering me on and you know anticipating that i'm gonna finish my studies this year and i have my parents to make proud and all of that so i just thought to myself you know what rather youtube than school i'd rather quit youtube than quit school so that's what i what i thought i needed at the time and that's what happened so not only did i quit youtube i quit social media altogether i took down all my videos from youtube after posting a video about how i don't want to do youtube anymore i posted the video and then i took down all my videos from youtube i went on my instagram deleted all my followers because i did not need people sending me dms constantly hey when are you going back to youtube hey when are you going back to youtube hey when are you going back to youtube so i just deleted all my followers because i genuinely did not feel like people sending me dms all the time or you know commenting on my stories or whatever was going to be helping it was going to defeat the purpose right because i really really love youtube i really love this platform i love creating i just feel like myself when i'm creating content for youtube so i knew that if i constantly heard people telling me hey come back hey we miss you hey this and that i was definitely going to go back to youtube and it was going to create a snowball effect of the same symptoms that i was feeling you know burnout fatigue exhaustion at the beginning of the year in the middle of the year when i need my energy most or when i need to focus on school most so that's why i thought to myself let me just cut youtube cut social media and it was actually a very refreshing time to be off of social media so refreshing 10 out of 10 would recommend but i wouldn't recommend like going cold turkey because you know quitting everything just at once all at once is very unhealthy but anyway so um i quit social media i was not on social media i was not putting on content i was not even consuming content okay like right now i have to catch up on all of my friends vlogs and everything um because i haven't been watching youtube at all you know um and speaking of my friends shout out to my friends they were absolutely so supportive especially my friends that are content creators themselves they were so supportive they were sending me messages of you know encouragement and support you know um just showing me that whatever it is that i'm going through they understand and they are supportive of my decision to leave youtube and if i ever need them in any part of my journey i should just let them know and i'm so grateful to have such an amazing support system you know my friends have absolutely been amazing this year i wouldn't have made it out of this year without my friends okay i love them so much Um, all right, you guys, so it is currently 2.25 in the afternoon and my brother and I are just headed out. We 
are actually looking for some hubbly to buy well i'm looking for some hubbly to buy he just knows where i can get it so he's coming with me um because i think i'm in my hubbly era i feel like i'm well in my hubbly era and i just wanted to invest in a hubbly um but yeah so we are going to a place called puffin pass it's here in Klagstorp and we are going to be shopping for a hubbly there and some hubbly supplies you know some coal some flavor and the works so yeah i'm very excited oh um and then when we get back from buying the hubbly i'm going to be setting it up and i'm going to be having my first smoke today is actually quite a lovely day it's quite sunny even though it's unbearably hot it is sunny the weather is very lovely so let's go to the hubbly store <laughs> welcome to day three of the vlog um even though i'm feeling like i'm gonna wrap up the vlog right here because i am happy with all of the content that i've accumulated for the vlog and i want to start the editing process asap um only because i haven't really been like editing so my editing skills might be a little you know outdated i might need to sharpen my editing skills a little because i haven't been editing in a very long time and i think going back into like vlogging and producing content i forgot how tedious and how long the editing process can be as viewers i need you guys to understand that it takes a lot it takes a lot to put out a single video as a youtuber especially if you're doing everything yourself if you're doing the editing yourself you're doing the filming yourself you're doing the directing yourself sort of um you know you're the one who's kind of like planning the content and where it should go and how you want your videos to look and everything it takes a lot so i'm gonna start on that process right now but since we are concluding the vlog i just want to say thank you so much watching my video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know in the comments how you guys liked my first video back on youtube and let me know as well what you guys would like to see going forward what kind of content you guys like to see i am going to start filming a new video tomorrow hopefully it'll be up by next week following this vlog so i'm very excited bouncing off the walls with excitement from being back on youtube producing content feels so good oh my god like just filming and creating ah it feels so good i am so happy to be back okay um so yeah please let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see going forward please share the link to this video or share the link to my channel with your friends have them share it with their friends so that we can grow my family of angels and i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye <laughs> Thank you.